We've just landed in Accra, subhanAllah, in Ghana. And uh, the weather seems to be decent. The people here are, yeah. mashallah, you know. It's a good thing, alhamdulillah. And uh, we're about to meet the brothers who are here to receive us, most probably. Uh, in the next few minutes, inshallah. So far, so good, mashallah. So Ghana is relatively developed compared to other countries. The, the population speak quite clear English. Uh, I know the accent is also quite uh, quite a good accent in the sense that it's easily understood by lots of those who speak English. Sometimes you visit a country where they speak English, but the accent is a little bit tough to decipher. Same applies to Arabic in some countries. You, you could be speaking Arabic, but you know nothing because of the accent and how they speak. Hi, my brother. How are you? Great. Yeah, so, here goes. Okay. We've arrived at the immigration. So we're just going to be seeing this uh, and we are going further, hopefully. Ahlan. Salam alaikum. Salam. How are you, brother? Mashallah. Salam alaikum. Sheikh, my brother. We are finally here. How are things? You are good. Mashallah. Mashallah. Barakallah. My my passport and that is in there. Salam alaikum. Kif halak? Kif khair? Kuis? Kasim. Kasim. Salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam alaikum. Kif halak? Kif halak? Mashallah. Alhamdulillah, we've arrived in Ghana. We just jumped into the vehicle of brother Tariq. And we're going to the hotel. It was quite a smooth entry. We just had uh, to show our yellow card, the health vaccinations, uh, not to do with Corona, but more to do with yellow fever. Normally in the African countries, if you're traveling, you should have that. It lasts 10 years. You take one jab and for 10 years, you're safe. Uh, meaning you're good to go in the airports. And then uh, stamp, stamp, stamp. And we're, we waited for the bags for a, a few minutes. And now, mashallah, we're on our way to the hotel. Uh, so, brother Abu Bakr, uh, tell us about the uh, preparations for this uh, peace and unity convention in Ghana because it started off in Nigeria and mashallah, we've had it for many years. So, what prompted you to come through to Ghana with the same concept? Well, alhamdulillah, um, really it was uh, just a dream that we had of saying that we wanted to expand to other African countries that had the same culture with us in Nigeria. Um, and then make it a global event, having seen the impact that it made, um, especially in Nigeria, in our community. And Ghana for us was a first choice, um, number one, because of the similar cultures, um, similar backgrounds, uh, a lot of the relationship we've had between Nigeria and Ghana. I and see, I see, it's yeah. just a... Salam alaikum. Salam. Let me greet these guys yeah. because... Yeah, Someone... How are you? How are you, brother? How are you, brother? You are good. May Allah bless you. Grant you. Amen. May do good. May do good. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Borno, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mashallah. Barakallah fiq. Atahallah. Yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. 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 Barakallah fiq. So these are people on the street, but uh, the last time I saw they were selling CDs of mine. We stopped and we we asked them, do you know this guy? They said yes, we know. I said, but. Then he looked at me, he said, but you are the same guy, you know. Allah, it was very, it was very different. Uh, yeah, mashallah. So, um, yeah, you know, the, uh, what I noticed about Ghana, it's just 40 minutes away from, uh, from Abuja, right? By flight? Sah, just 40 minutes away from Abuja. Yes, yes. Uh, amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the cultures are similar. Yeah. Uh, this place reminds me more of Zimbabwe, because I think the... You know, the colonial history is not too different. It's quite similar. Even I see that the police and the way they operate, the roads, the traffic lights, everything is just like how Zimbabwe works. So if you were to come from Accra to Harare, you won't really find a big difference. Besides that, Ghana's uh, Accra is a little bit bigger and uh, it has more development than uh, Harare. Harare is less uh, population, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, beautiful place. Yeah, so we, we, we are praying that uh, everything goes well. So when are we kicking off? Uh, tomorrow? 
Inshallah. So we start off officially tomorrow with the That's TV Jum'a. Du- Jum'a. So there are TV and um, uh, radio interviews that are scheduled. I think majorly TV stations. Um, and then after that, we have the Jum'a. Um, and after the Jum'a, we have a motivational evening uh, dinner similar to what we did in Abuja last year. Uh, we started that off in Nigeria last year and uh, it was quite a huge hit because there were a number of people who got to see what one Ummah was doing and they got to have a more intimate interaction with the scholars. Um, and then Saturday uh, we have the PUC comments proper itself. Uh, so the lecture starting at the Accra International Conference Center. And on Sunday uh, we fly to Kumasi to give a brief lecture there and then we fly back to have the last tail end of the convention in Accra. So, so basically and, uh, we're going to fly to another city in the morning and fly inshallah. back in the afternoon Yes. Uh, in time for another lecture in the afternoon. In the afternoon in Accra. Inshallah. Yes. inshallah. inshallah. Yeah. inshallah. Yeah. So normally it's very intense, you know, the, the, the travels that we have as mashayikh uh, and as people who are trying to serve the deen. It's not, uh, it's not just a holiday or something, it's very intense. You have a day break and so a day of a break perhaps and uh, then the day before you travel. Um, but mashallah we enjoy it and it's good to be intense and to work hard and to achieve as much as you can in a short span of time alhamdulillah i think also one of the ideas that uh, perhaps our, our our brothers and sisters may be interested in is the motivational evening is a whole different concept the idea is to lightly remind people and boost them uh, regarding challenges that they would be facing currently in life and it's a dinner setup where people are invited for the dinner and we would talk to them, uh, give them an opportunity for a light interaction where possible. Uh, because that is life changing sometimes where people might have been listening to you for, for years on end and one day they get an opportunity to interact and perhaps share some small thing about themselves that could actually uh, change so much. So Alhamdulillah, that's the idea of Motivational Evening. We have them in London and a few other places and uh, it's it's more for motivation even if someone is not so practicing they should feel welcome in a way that uh, would only be of positive growth for them inshallah jazakallah khair okay we've arrived at the hotel yes and uh, inshallah we'll continue later alhamdulillah barakallah